Alright, so before we get into the rest of the video, I just want to say a quick thanks to our sponsor, Noom. Noom is a health program created by behavioral psychologists that helps you create good lifestyle habits, which can help you prioritize healthy eating, exercising regularly, stress management, and better sleep hygiene. Noom teaches you the why behind these habits so you can change your mindset by using cognitive behavioral therapy. Noom provides daily lessons and learning tools to help teach you about nutrition, progress tracking, and best practices for lifelong results. My personal goal of using Noom has been to be more conscious about what I put in my body. And it's really been eye-opening for me, especially with logging my daily food intake. I've now learned to cut out random high caloric snacks that really add up throughout the day. This has helped me shift my mindset to be more mindful of what I'm putting in my body. My other favorite part about Noom is the seemingly endless nutritious recipes they offer. And let's not forget about the step counter feature that I also love. It is a constant reminder to keep me moving and keeps me on pace to hit my daily step goal. You can get started with Noom today by taking a health survey to customize your program. You only need to spend about 5 to 10 minutes per day using this program in order to see results. Click the link below to take Noom's free health evaluation to start your program today. Now, let's get back to the video. And welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog, everybody. We are back in the place where I'm moving, and we are back on the scene of where we bought our cars because today we are actually picking up our cars. So you may remember this place. back to the Audi dealership. And we're gonna pick up my car, we're gonna pick up Andriana's car, and we got a nice ride from the mother-in-law to help take us here. So we're gonna pick up both of these. I think we have to do like some weird inspection or something that this particular state, which I haven't told you where, offers. You all seem to like my last vlog, in which we bought the car, so I figured let's just do another vlog where I show you our cars, you know, and then we'll just film this trip as well because for some reason, you guys like to see my daily vlogs alongside all of the hospital and medical stuff. So that's what we're doing today, and uh, Andriana is on a call right now. So as soon as she finishes, we're going to go inside, sign all the paperwork, get our keys, and head back to Manhattan. Look at her new car. I can't stand her. I cannot. Wait, let me put my music on. She doesn't know how to put the music on. No. You nailed it. All right, so we officially just bought, or we bought them a week ago, but we officially just got both of our cars. Hey, hon. Looking good. Let's take a quick selfie. All right, one sec. All right, quick selfie in front of the cars. We have to now go take pictures for the insurance company, which is something I didn't know or didn't know you had to do. So I'm going to do that now, drop them off for like two seconds. Take some photos and head back to Manhattan. All right, everybody. So I officially made it back home. I somehow beat Andrana and my mother-in-law. Well, not somehow because they are slow and they were like way far behind me and then they got lost and I just kind of sped ahead because it's like 4.30 right now and if you don't get back to the city, you're running into a ton of different traffic. So that's them now. For those of you who, I didn't even like tell everybody what I bought. I bought an Audi Q5, black on black, because those are the only cars I buy. Black exterior, black interior, I love it. Andrana got a Q3, also from Audi. Yes, we bought two cars from the Audi dealership. They were obviously very happy. And then when she pulls up, I'll try to get a picture of her driving in. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We had a great time. I guess I can show you the car, huh? Let me see. So I'm only doing this because so many people have requested this. So this is the car, Audi Q5. All right, so when I say I don't have a place to store these cars, I basically am saying that there is no place in Manhattan that you can store your cars without paying a ton of money. And what I mean by that is you have a couple different options. There's something called alternate side parking in Manhattan, which is something that was a foreign concept to me. I'd never heard of it, but it basically means you can park along the street for free in certain streets and avenues in Manhattan. However, you have to change your car from one side of the road to the other side of the road almost every other day, and it doesn't include weekends. So throughout the week, you'd have to move your car from the right to the left side of the road every single night, with the exception of like Wednesday. And the problem with that is A, it may take you like an hour to find a parking spot when you're doing that. And B, 
there are no parking spots, which means it's a complete hassle. And you may move your car and not find a parking spot on that same street or anywhere near that street or your apartment. So it's, it's just, imagine having to move your car to like multiple different streets every single night. It's such a pain. And what if I'm late at the hospital or something? Anyways, so if you don't do that, you can get a ticket for not doing it. And the reason they do this is because they sweep the streets. Oh, here's Andrana. So the reason they do that is so they can sweep the streets, but I'll tell you more on that in just a second. How cute. All right, let's go see how Andriana liked the car. Hi. How did you like your drive? It's great. Do you feel like your purchase was worth it? I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I think she loves her car. She was jamming out this entire way, which is pretty good. Pretty good sign you like the car. So the next reason I say that it is basically impossible to find a inexpensive place to leave your car in Manhattan is because the only other option is for you to basically park it in a garage in Manhattan. So there are a couple different parking garages around the city. The problem is those parking garages range from crazy expensive to even crazier expensive. Most of the garages, even with a discount of my apartment building, is like $450 a month and I've seen as high as like 700 plus dollars a month, is which is crazy. crazy expensive to crazier expensive? Why is she? Is so, so basically we have no option. Although I considered leaving it at one of those parking decks for like $500 and just biting the bullet for a month, but we decided against it and instead- Fresh watermelon, anyone? <laughs> Why is she, where? <laughs> So instead, we're going to leave the car at my mother-in-law's house. We'll probably leave both of the cars here at my mother-in-law's house and maybe one at her aunt's house. I don't know. But the point is, we bought these two cars and we won't get to use them for like six weeks now. But it's not the end of the world. We can always just take a quick Uber over here and get the cars and go wherever we want. But yeah, that's the story. Got two cars, have no place to put them, and we're happy with our purchases. And that's it. So we're going to cook some dinner, hang around here in Queens today, and go back to the city later. And we had a lovely dinner. It's time to go back to the city. But I gotta say goodbye to my new love. Such a loser. You have to say goodbye. Bye. Oh my god. Say goodbye. Bye. Say good night. Luck or not. Luck or not. All right, every but oh. <clears throat> Allergies are killing me this morning. So anyways, let me give you a quick update here. So it is now Friday. I haven't even told you all that I'm on vacation this entire week, which makes sense why I took all day off yesterday to go pick up both of our cars, that we transfer them from where we're moving all the way to Queens, and they're gonna stay there until we go all the way back and move there full time for my job. But yes, I've been on vacation. The prior video, I told you that I was going to Miami and I was going to vlog it, however, I did go to Miami, which is why I am a little tan now. Had the best time ever. Maybe I'll throw up a little pictures right here, here, and here, or something if I can edit those in. We had a fantastic time. I did not end up vlogging it because, you know, sometimes when I'm on vacation, the last thing I wanna do is pick up a camera and film. I just wanted to enjoy it, and that's exactly what we did. It was a very much needed vacation, and it's the first one I've had in a very long time. Got to lay out, nice tan, be on the beach, work out every day, beautiful hotel, hung out with Andriana the whole time. We had an amazing time. I miss vacation so much. So we came back on Wednesday night late and then woke up, drove all the way to where I'm moving. I still haven't told you where I'm moving yet, but some people have figured it out just by, you know, location that they, they see me travel over there. But got the cars, as you saw, they're in Queens. We're back in New York City. Andrana went to work today. I have today off because I have the whole week off. It's my vacation week. Oh my God. And now, as per usual, this is my setup on my days off. I love doing this so much. I basically just figure out what I'm gonna trade for the day, have CNBC on my iPad right below me, and uh, we just make some trades, watch the market, buy the dips, you know, 
see what I'm into that day. Also, we have something very interesting coming up in the near future, kind of related to this, which I'll probably have to vlog because it's going to be a very cool experience. I'm still crossing my fingers that I can go to it, but we'll see. More on that later. It's pretty cool, I promise. So I think that pretty much sums up this video. Again, apologize for not vlogging Miami, just wanted to enjoy my vacation. And uh, that's pretty much it. As always, if you like these kind of vlogs and you wanna see my day-to-day -day life outside of the hospital, let me know in the comments below. I saw all the comments if you love when I include Andreana in our vlog, so that's why I did that as well today. But anyways, I'll stop rambling. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already. And I'll see you all on the next video. Oh, also, I see some people still lurking. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Don't, don't be shy, subscribe. It's good, good content here. All right, see you in the next video.